Hello English 100 students, this is your professor Michael Bloomingberg and uh, again I want to welcome you to this new semester and what I want to help you with in this video is understanding what you need to do during week one as well as understanding what you need to do in future weeks as you work through the English 100 units. So what I have here is I'm on our Blackboard page and what I'm going to do first is just show you what you need to complete during week one. So what you're going to want to do is go to the discussion board and this will all be posted in the form of an announcement. But you're just going to go to the discussion board and from there you are going to see that there is a discussion board assignment called week one required work. And what I'm asking you to do here, this is just for the first week only, um, include the following in your posting. Give a brief introduction of yourself. Uh, acknowledge if you are new to SCC or if you're a returning student. What are your feelings about this class, that being English 100? You probably will want to look at the syllabus closely to answer that, along with the last question, which is if the class setup makes sense. And look closely at the last two pages of the syllabus where it goes over the unit information. And um, I've put the deadline on there for you to follow. Just make sure you follow that. If you have questions, let me know. And that is going to be used to make sure that you are active in the class. And it will count as a grade. And uh, it will prevent you, if you complete the task, from being recorded as a no-show and removed from the class. But beyond that, the other thing I want to show you is under the syllabus tab, of course that's where you'll find your course syllabus. There's a syllabus video as well. But if you scroll, well my, my, my eyes are bad, so my screen projection size is probably larger than yours. I'm at 150. So I'm going to scroll down and at the bottom you'll see the recommended course schedule. If you just click it, and I already have it pulled up, it will show you um, typically how you can work from week to week. Now this class is generally self-paced with the one exception that we'll talk about. So you don't have to absolutely follow the schedule, um, especially if you're in the online section, but it, you might find it helpful because it just kind of lets you know from week to week what I'm looking for if you're um, worried about uh, where you should be pace-wise. So for week one, you'll see it says complete discussion board assignment, review all modules, make sure you understand how the class is structured. That goes back to that discussion assignment and begin work on basic grammar topic one. Now notice it says begin work. It does not say complete. You're not going to see um, completion required for the basic grammar unit until you get to week two. But the biggest thing I want to point out to you is that if you are in the face to face classes, you have to complete your post-test in the actual lab. That's a requirement for taking the class face-to-face. -face. If you're online, obviously you don't have to do that, but you're more than welcome to come into the lab. Now, whether you're face-to-face -face or online, you cannot take a post-test until you've completed all of the work for that particular unit. So there are three assignments, one for each topic. We'll talk about it. But just check out the course schedule. It'll, it'll keep you organized and let you know kind of how you need to be working from week to week. If you follow this course schedule, you will be exempt from the final as long as you do the things that are asked of you to do. And it's just a nice little tool for you to have. But where we're going to go next is to the course content. Now keep in mind that course content is where you will always go to get into the units. And the units is the crux, the foundation of the work that we're going to do in the class. But I want to stress again, the purpose of this class is to make sure you're successful in English 101. So if you're having any problems in 101, make sure you're in the lab. Come in if you're an online student. Call me. Email me. Let's talk about it. That's so important to make sure you get the most out of this class. But I'm going to click on course content and I'm going to introduce you to the uh, four units that you have in the class and here you can see them. It's basic grammar, it's writing modes, essay structure, and MLA documentation. So this is how the class is set up. It's again through course content. 
So let's just, they're all kind of set up the same way, even though the content's different. So let's look at basic grammar. So I click on basic grammar, and this shows you where your topics are. So you have three topics, and again, you can compare it to the course schedule. But the first one's uh, common sentence problems, second one's subject verb agreement, the third one's commonly confused words, and at the bottom is um, the post test for the unit. Now, please, please, please keep in mind that you need to complete your topic work before you take a post test. Now, I don't like to close the post test. I like to keep it open. But um, I can go in and actually void your grade on a post test if I see that you have not completed your two topics, or three topics, and I'm not shy to do that either. So let's click on the first topic. And this is the general setup for each topic. You'll see that there are videos for the common sentence problems. If you click it, it brings you to some nice videos. I did not make these videos, but I have found them to be very helpful in illustrating the lesson. So if you like to learn visually, check out the videos. There are also resources. In this case, I've put together a study guide that um, is a PDF file that you can check out, and it kind of walks you through the material. So with the resources and videos, that's just introducing you to the lesson, getting you ready. Then once you're comfortable, you can go down and click on the actual assignment. And what that does is, as often as I can, I've made it as a Word document and PDF file. You might try, if the option is available, to work on it as a Word document as opposed to PDF file, because you can actually write on the document. But you'll just pull it up. Well, when it's not being stubborn, I'm going to go back because I've got too many documents pulled up as the problem. I'll just pull it up as a PDF. So you can see the assignments are always different according to the topic. This one's got 10 things for you to do in fixing sentences, and then it gives you a bonus as well. And so you'll just kind of go through that. And then down here at the bottom is where you go when you need to submit your assignments. Please don't email them to me. You should actually submit in Blackboard. Now, if you have any problems in submitting the assignment, just email me and I'll help you. But all you got to do is once you complete the assignment on your Word document and you save it, then you're just going to click on the submission. And, it's, and all you got to do is go to Browse My Computer to attach your file. And so once it's attached, you should be able to see it as it's, uh, it'll be listed down um, towards the bottom. Now the comments box is not for the assignment, so please note that. That's just if there's something you want me to know about the assignment, but you use Browse My Computer to attach it, and then click Submit, and that will send it to me. And that's really it, guys. You're just working through, again, each topic that way, and then once you get your three topics done, you're ready for your post-test. Now your post test um, is 10 questions, they're multiple choice. The goal is to score 70 or higher, answering seven out of 10 correctly. And um, you have two attempts at it, so you need no, wanna note that as well. So if you take, take it the first time, and you, let's say you score a 50, five out of 10, you need to slow down, go back, look again at your um, resources in each topic, your videos, make sure you're understanding the lesson, and then go back and try it again, and usually what will happen is you'll score higher the second time around. Okay. Now let's say you score an 80, you don't have to take it again, or a 70, or a 90, obviously a 100, there's no need to take it again. But it's, it's at your self pace and how you feel comfortable. So let's say you score a 90, and you say to yourself, I I'm good with a 90, I'm happy with that. If you're happy, I'm happy, and you don't have to go back through and do it again. Um, so the second option's there only if you need or want to take it. But there are only two options, and I can't stress this enough, you have to work through the three topics before you take your post test. Now that's basic grammar, but I'll show you writing modes just to show you it's set up the same way. Three topics and your post test. So if you click on the first topic analysis, you're going to find the same kind of thing. You're going to find videos. 
and um, you're going to find um, resources that I've put together to help you understand, in this case an outline for an analytical essay, and then an assignment. Same thing, so you, there's four of them total, three topics in each unit, four units total. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, that's pretty much it guys. I guess the only other thing I would show you for week one is start here just in case you have any questions. Um, you know, it gives you the link for the Blackboard mobile app, their student services and resources. It's just if you're having any technical issues, um, that's really what Start Here is more, more uh, designed to help you with. I really hope this video has been helpful. I hope it's not been confusing. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to um, come by, call me, email me, whatever works best for you. And I say that especially for my online students because I know I won't be uh, seeing you in person. But uh, best of luck to you. Don't forget to complete the discussion board assignment. If I can go back to that for a moment. Don't forget, super important that you complete that during week one. That's it, guys. Take care and good luck.